cancer owes its deadly nature to its ability to use the host's own immune system to grow and spread uncontrollably. Immune cells like macrophages are recruited by chemokines in tumor sites and hijacked by cancer cells and converted to tumor-associated macrophages, or TAMs, which then prevent healthy immune cells from attacking the cancer cells and produce cytokines and chemokines, which promote accelerated cancer growth. Thus, controlling TAMs could be a potential therapeutic strategy for combating cancer. However, no current anti-cancer therapy targets TAMs. Scientists from Tokyo University of Science saw this as an opportunity to develop novel anti-cancer drugs. In their seminal work in Nature Immunology back in 2005, they had reported the discovery of a new target protein called FRAUNT, which is linked to regulation and movement of TAMs through its interaction with chemokine receptors. Since FRAUNT amplified chemokine signaling, a type of cellular communication that is integral for TAM accumulation and activity, it was therefore linked directly to TAM regulation. Now, their extensive study reveals an abundance of FRAUNT in TAMs. This result was supported by the fact that cancer patients with low FRAUNT expression were found to have longer survival after surgery. Trials on mice with a deficiency of frownt revealed that frownt deficiency was linked to impaired activation and a reduction in the number of macrophages surrounding the cancer cells. These factors led to a decrease in the growth of cancer in the mice. Then, to identify how frownt can be targeted for therapy, they screened 130,000 compounds to find inhibitors that could bind directly to the frownt site, making them unavailable for interaction with the chemokine receptors. The team zeroed in on disulfiram, a drug used to treat alcoholism and known for its potential as an anti-cancer drug. When tested on mice, Disulfiram was found to inhibit the movement of TAMs and suppress the growth and metastasis of cancer cells. The scientists thus put forth a new cancer treatment strategy that targets frownt for the treatment of cancer. This is expected to be the first therapeutic strategy that regulates TAMs.